Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 126 alongside Kyle Kingsbury, who defeated Ricardo Romero tonight in very impressive fashion. Kyle, without a doubt, your most impressive win in the UFC. How do you feel afterwards? Oh, I feel great. You know, uh, put in all the hard work, and, and uh, you just hope for the fight to go well. You know, you don't know if it's going to go that quick or not, but it did, and it was good. So, very happy with it. Did you think, you know, when you're envisioning the fight, that you'd be able to actually finish him that quickly? Not at all. In fact, I've, I really expected to go to war with the guy. I know in his last fight with Seth Petrozelli, he fought through uh, a broken jaw, a hurt knee, and a hurt rib, or, or a tore pec, something like that. I mean, the guy's just tough as nails, so I figured it'd be something similar to what I did with Jared Hammond, where, you know, you go toe-to-toe -to -toe for a while there and finish it off after three, three fives. You're cool with the stoppage, right? You think that was a good call? Yeah, no question. I mean, uh, I, my first two fights in MMA ended with knees to the stomach, and you get hit with a shot like that, you don't want to fight anymore. It, it, the, you know, the fight wasn't going to change the way it was going, so it, I bet guys like Cain Velasquez hit me in the gut in and, and sparring, and, you know, you don't want to fight anymore. You know, you get, you get hit pretty easy after that, so it was, it was a good stoppage. Something I noticed uh, at the Wayans, actually, you seem, and correct me if I'm wrong, you seem to be in the best shape of your life. How'd that happen? I've been working with uh, Snack Systems, it's a great supplement line. All the products work, and uh, you know we've been doing a lot of different things, uh, blood work, you know, to find deficiencies in different vitamins and minerals, and then help raise those things. So it's not like you just blindly take protein powder and and uh, you know one size fits all type deal. Um, it's very scientific, very specific, and uh, by building those deficiencies up, my recovery goes up and everything like that. And obviously, you see, uh, you know, I look good at the weigh-in. Weight cut was easy, and uh, showed in the fight. It was like a 17 pack you had there. Never seen anything like that. Yeah, I've been working hard for that, so. <laughs> well done. Thank you. You know, it's been kind of an up and down journey for you in the UFC. Do you feel as though this is, what's, this is what you needed to sort of kickstart your career here? Yeah, you know, I think um, when I first got on the show, obviously I, I wasn't really prepared for UFC level competition. My coaches knew that at AKA, and uh, the thing was, it was, it was, if you can get on there, the exposure and then the coaching would make it worth it because you'd learn so much and uh, you'd get your name out there and, and then you could build up over time. And uh, thankfully, they've given me the opportunity to take you know, some good time off in between fights to go back to the drawing board and continue to work on my skills. And uh, now I feel I'm ready to fight my three fights a year, and, and um, it's good. So, A lot of people consider AKA to be the best gym in MMA right now. How much does going to the gym every day and training with those guys elevate your game? Oh, it, it elevates it a ton. You know, I don't have to sit here and name drop everybody in that gym. I also have the opportunity to go out to Power MMA in Gilbert, Arizona and train with Bader and all the guys out there. So really, I got the best of both worlds. I get incredible wrestlers surrounded by me, you know, and, and uh, you can't help but get better by, by making, your, you know, working with guys that are better than you in different areas. It's going to rub off on you no matter no, any way you cut it. I also noticed a sort of upper deck, right corner. You had like 500 people standing and cheering for you. How'd you get all those people to actually, this is, a, this is a hot ticket, this is a hard ticket to get. How'd you get all those people to come and support you? Well, thankfully, I've got a very large group of supporters. Uh, I think we were 75 deep this time, and everybody was sitting next to each other. So, uh, same thing, you know, they, they travel well. We tra Everybody took work off middle of the week to go out to the fight night in Austin. And um, it's great, it really makes a difference, you know. Very unique entrance song. What's the uh, inspiration behind that? Well, you're always gonna hear me come out to something from the 80s. And uh, my love for Top Gun, it was, it was time to come out with playing with, to playing with the boys. And uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite Kenny Loggins songs. And it's good. I like coming out to songs that make you feel good inside. I'm not, you know, the kind of death rock guy. Maybe when I'm hitting the weights or something like that. But, you know, when I'm coming out, I want something that puts a smile on my face. And that definitely does the job. And, and speaking of unique, yesterday you rocked two fanny packs and uh, an NBA headband. If, correct me if I'm wrong with that one. Why two? Why'd you raise the game here? I mean, you're, you're really revolutionizing the fanny pack world. Well, the idea was just to switch it up and bring out the new fanny pack, which is the polka dot one with the cup holder. But uh, my manager, Bob Cook, said, no, no, you got to rock and bowl. So now I think uh, every time I bring out a new fanny pack, I'm just going to add it. So we could see here down the road, uh, you know, three, four, five fanny packs strapped on. Very nice. Anyone in particular you think they're going to book you against next? Or anyone I, that you want? No idea. Honestly, um, you know, I, I don't really have an opinion on who I want to fight. I just, you know, I'm very thankful to be still in the UFC. and, and uh, I'm, I'm ready for my next opponent, so happy to be here. And it's nice to see you haven't forgotten about your Arizona State roots. Wow, this is, uh, are they sponsoring you or are you just uh, no. you know, very happy? Yeah, I've got to rock the Sun Devil stuff. We got Ryan Bader fighting tonight too, you know, teammate, close friend. And uh, we got to represent well tonight. So that's why I'm decked out in my Devil's gear. And uh, he's, he's going to do it. He's going to do it up. All right, well, one down, one to go. Congratulations on a huge win. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.